If all roads lead to Rome, then that must mean all blunders lead to the White House. Joe Biden stripped security measures at our southern border with almost 100 executive orders. And since then, well over 7.2 million illegals have entered and poured into our country, a population more than 36 states combined. And now one of those illegals, according to law enforcement, the man you see right there, Jose Antonio Abara from Venezuela, released from a U.S. detention center into the United States due to overcrowding, arrested twice in New York City and then made his way to Georgia, has killed a woman. He's possibly caused extreme heartache and terror for one family. Uh, her name is Lakin Riley, 22-year-old Georgia student. There she is, a beautiful young girl. Her life is over before it even began. And to think this all could have been avoided. I want to talk about it with our next guest, Charles Marino. He's a former Homeland Security Department advisor and the author of Terrorists on the Border and in Our Country. Also joining us, Derek Maltz, a former director of special operations for the Drug Enforcement Administration. Uh, Derek, when we talk about People being killed. We talk about the fentanyl crisis, right? And we're seeing young people in mass being killed, over 100,000 due to drug poisonings. And now here we have it. Uh, an illegal alien is, is being accused of, of cutting a young life just before, before it could even really begun, uh, begin. I mean, this is what we feared. This is what we've been sounding the alarm about from day one. So wh why isn't the administration doing something about it? Well, that's a good question. I mean, I thought their number one job is to protect all citizens in America. Right now, the reckless border policies are actually facilitating the cartels, the gangsters, and the Chinese criminals to destroy our country and kill our citizens at record levels. We've never seen anything like this. Just look at the drug crisis. Right now, the legacy for this administration is 300,000-plus dead Americans. And that number is continuing because now with the Chinese actually pushing these new, very potent synthetic opioids beyond fentanyl into this country and all these marijuana grow operations, the numbers are going to continue. And then, Charles, what's so frustrating, especially about this story regarding Lake and Riley, is all Joe Biden had to do was nothing, right? He repealed 100 Trump border policy. Uh, there they are, just a list of them, about 100 of them, which drastically weakens our national security. So, Charles, when you hear Joe Biden, when you hear the Democrats, when you hear the fake news say that the immigration system is broken and that it's, it's the fault of Congress, what do you say to that? Oh, it angers me beyond belief. I mean, this is the definition of malfeasance. Look, let's agree on one thing. Everything this president and administration touches results in Americans getting hurt or killed, both here and abroad. We've got three years now of examples where we see this happening. This administration cannot get one thing right when it comes to their number one job, as Derek said, to provide safety and security for the American people and this country. Let me tell you, what happened to Lake and Riley the president and secretary should be forced to face her family and say, we did this. We caused this. And you want to know, Lydia, this is just starting. This is going to get much, much worse. This is going to go beyond just this administration. And we're going to need a strong leader to come in here to fix this, because many more Americans are going to get hurt and killed. This is just the start. It is just the start. And then Lake and Riley has unfortunately become the face of this of this crisis. It's not even an invasion anymore, Derek. I feel like it, at this point, it's a takeover. 7.2 million illegals, population of 36 states, and, and the census numbers, right? That's all I feel like the politicians, they care about, right? So their census, because people are leaving in mass, these blue cities, so they're replacing them with these illegals. They're going to get their, their House seats, their seats in Congress. They're going to get all this money to them, the federal tax dollars. It's all about money and power and control. Right. Instead of about security, like, let's talk again about the Chinese, because the American public are missing the boat. We have mass amounts of military-aged Chinese men coming into this country. They're setting up these marijuana grow operations. 
They have counterintelligence operations. The FBI director has said it's the biggest national security threat to our country, right? But we keep letting them in. How does that make any sense, right? So it's well beyond just getting congressional seats and building up the, the census. Right now, it's about the country. Look at these, these gangs from the prison in uh, Venezuela. Just like President Trump said, they're going to export the worst criminals in their countries. Now they're actually causing chaos and havoc in multiple U.S. cities. I mean, the New York mayor, I always go back to the statement because he said it. The migrant crisis is going to cause New York to, to, you know, fall apart. Well, no, the whole country's falling apart because they can't sustain the level of these unknown ghost criminals, as the NYPD police commissioner said, into this country. We can't sustain it. And Charles is right. It's only the beginning. And that's what the public has to realize. Charles, we got to go, but 30 seconds to you. Yeah. Does Joe Biden have blood on his hands? Yes. It's a resounding yes. And you know what? Three quarters of the country know this. Now they need to get to the polls and they need to do the right thing. This administration has zero accountability so far. It's time they be held accountable and we vote them the hell out of office. We need to do it for our country. Absolutely. Charles Marino, Derek Maltz, thank you both so much.